taking us spots forward. This movie gets three and a half bananas out of five according to the no more stinky monkeys dot com website. For me, Drew Barrymore has been the cutest actress in Hollywood for almost thirty years. From E. T. to now she's been our generation's Shirley Temple. And now she can add another notch to her resume as a really good first time director. Whip It is a simple but strong story about a teenage girl trying to make it in the rough and tumble world of Texas roller derby. Whip It is the term for when one skater grabs your arm in mid skate and whips you around the track so you can outrun and thus beat the opposition. You see, you score in roller derby by passing the most opposing skaters as you cross the finish line. Of course, you will probably have the crap beat out of you on your way as you try to pass them. In this movie, Juno star Ellen Page plays Bliss Cavender, a good, quiet student who's sheltered like a calf at a veal farm. When she discovers roller derby, she's not just trying to get past her opponents, but past her demanding mother and the dead-end town she lives in as well. Bodine, Texas seems like a nice, quiet little middle-class town, but the residents there don't seem to have much of a future. So while Bliss's mother, Brooke, seems like a domineering Texas pageant mom, she's actually just a realistic person who knows that beauty pageants are one of the best ways to get her daughter's college scholarships and the hell out of Bodine. And she won't let a little something like her daughter's distaste for pageants to get in her way. Not when she's paid $800 for a custom-made dress on a letter carrier's salary. Yes, this former pageant queen herself now delivers mail so she knows what she's talking about. But her strength and determination is something she unwittingly passed down to Bliss, and this 17-year-old girl has her own ideas about life and the future she wants. When Bliss accidentally discovers a flyer to an Austin roller derby competition, she views it as just a great night out, never imagining that she might one day be on the track with these girls. Luckily for her, what she lacks in grit is made up for by her best friend Pash, played by Alia Shawcat. Pash has a car and thus the freedom of movement, and Bliss relies on that freedom to help her experience her own. When Pash can't drive to her to Austin, Bliss hops on the senior citizen's bingo bus. Can I ask you, Pash, Bliss, where do these American girls get these names from? The acting in this movie is uniformly good. Shawcat is great as the, as the best friend, and Oscar winner Marsha Gay Harden has a chance to play the mother Brooke as an herba bitch, but layers the parts with loads of humanity and dignity. And I loved Ellen Page much more here than in Juno. Juno always seemed like a fake Hollywood confection, while Bliss is a flesh and blood teenager. I think this is the fifth movie I've seen Helen Page in, and oddly enough, it's the first one I remember her having a living mother in. So it figures that when she does, <laughs> she would have a cantankerous relationship since she seems like such a strong-willed person both in and out of her roles. Indeed, the most awkward moments of the movie are when Paige plays Bliss to be Meek. As small as she is, Meek doesn't fit well on her, the way it doesn't fit well on Rhea Perlman or Danny DeVito. And in a welcome return, Home Alone's Daniel Stern plays Bliss's mildly desperate father, Earl. He owns a furniture store, has two great girls, and a wife who finds him sexy. But he's still a little bit henpecked and drinks his beer and watches his football in private. But as movie marriages go these days, this on screen coupling is relatively healthy and loving. Oddly enough, some of the weaker scenes in the movie are the roller derby scenes, and the crazy boyish humor kind of falls flat. But the good intentions are there, and Jimmy Fallon is surprisingly really funny as the ring announcer, Hot Tub Johnny Rocket. The other roller derby girls are well played, with Saturday Night Live's. Uh, vet Christine Wig in her first mildly serious role as Maggie Mayhem. The always great Juliette Lewis as the arch enemy Iron Maven, rapper Eve as Rosa Sparks, top Australian stuntwoman Zoe Bell as Bloody Holly, and craziest of all, Drew Barrymore as Smashley Simpson. Funnily enough, as a director, Barrymore gave herself the crazy John Belushi type role, and it works for her like a dream. When Bliss comes up to Maggie Mayhem and says, you are my hero, Maggie replies, try out for the Hurl Scouts team and be your own hero. 
it's a great sentiment for anybody, but especially young women trying to find a niche for themselves in this turbulent world. And remember, try not to get any track rash from the front of her.